What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is Marlon from Marley Mac Media. And in this video, I want to talk about noise removal from audio. So this is if you've got hiss from your mics or if you've got some sort of environmental noise going on maybe you've got a fan going in the room or you've um, got outdoor noise because you're you are recording outdoors first of all obviously just go to a quiet space if you can avoid all that noise to begin with but sometimes you have to do noise removal so traditionally i would do this through apps like audacity or inside final cut pro maybe which i use to edit my videos in some cases they use a squashing system where they compress the sound a bit and try to get rid of the noise that way what i find is that this introduces a lot more um, artifacting back into the sound itself and it becomes really annoying for me plus it squashes the frequencies and takes a lot off the top end and if you try to eq it back in what you find is that you end up in a situation where you're highlighting a lot more of the noise as well so I found a way that I can remove this noise in a clean fashion and um, that's what I want to talk to you about today and I'm really happy sharing this with you. Okay, so here we are inside Cubasis 2 on my iPad and basically I've got an audio track here with some dialogue and um, at the start of the audio there is some noise, well throughout the audio there's some background noise inside the room that I want to get rid of. So I'll just play back the sample so you can hear what that sounds like. This time I'm using a lav mic which is clipped onto my shirt. So you can hear that noise primarily at the start of the audio where there's, where there's no dialogue. You can actually hear it playing through. Now, um, the app that I want to talk to you about is called Bruce Free and it's made by a company called Clef Grand. Uh, Bruce Free is available on desktop computers as a plugin, but it's also on iOS and it's as a standalone app as well as a plugin. So I'm going to show you how it is loaded up as a plugin. So if I go to my audio effects here and go to audio units, you will see that it's the number two, the second one in the list, Cleft Grand Bruce Free, and it loads up here. So what I need to do basically is to use the learn button in the middle here to sample, hold it down to sample the noise that I want to get out and um, that way it can isolate that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this back and do the learn function. This time I'm using a lav mic which is clipped onto my shirt. Okay so it has already worked. If I go back to the start you should hear that the noise is significantly reduced. This time I'm using a lav mic which is clipped onto my shirt and I'm in the same environment so that worked pretty well and I can just go ahead and use that audio as it is. You can hear that the audio, the actual dialogue hasn't changed much. Um, but if you wanted to make some adjustments, let's say you feel like it didn't reduce the noise enough, you can adjust the threshold control here. This time I'm using a lav mic which is clipped onto my shirt and I'm in the same environment with the background noise. And if you feel like you want to add back some high frequencies, it does have a high frequency adjustment here. And there are some other controls. If you click on each one, it tells you what they do. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the high frequency and see what that sounds like. This time I'm using a lav mic, which is clipped onto my shirt. And I'm in the same environment with the background noise. And I'm going to see how much of it I can remove. I'm just going to be quiet for a sec. Okay, so there you have it. That's the uh, plugin version of it, and it's pretty okay. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description so you can go ahead and use my link if you would like to grab a copy of this. So let's jump over into the standalone version of Bruce Free. As you can see, it's the exact same app, except that it's loaded full screen. It's got all the same controls. And um, what you do is you import your audio by clicking on the import button and you use one of those options, whether that's to extract it from a video, audio share or from iTunes. I've got some audio loaded in so you can see that at the top bar here. OK, so this is now being recognized as a headset mic. Um, and the same process applies in here, once you've done your adjustments and you've taken out the noise uh, or reduced it, you can go to the export button 
and you have various options that you can select from in terms of audio quality to export out the audio and then you can use that in a different app that's pretty much what I've got for you in this video here. Uh, do me a favor and leave a comment letting me know what you currently use for your noise reduction. And um, if there's any questions or if there's anything that you'd like me to look at further in this, there aren't too many things that I can really go through. It's pretty straightforward, but leave any comments down below and I'll see if I can answer those. Until next time, take it easy. I'll talk to you soon.